you talking about social media, how it's fucking evil, bro. Like, you're talking about young comics. Like um, you said, <laughs> I didn't say huh? social media evil. I said social media is not the problem. Right, you're you saying are. the people, are the, we are yeah, the problem. It's, if you always look at you, it's you. Because if you want to fix something, you fix you, and you're fine. Yeah. You can't fix social media. There's nothing wrong with social media. <laughs> so, social, media <laughs> social media is just it's just a thing, just like money. Right. Oh, shit. What? I know you had a cat. We have a cat. So yeah. Hold on like one second. One second. A raccoon. No. <laughs> you got a raccoon cat. Uh, you got a cacoon. <laughs> you got a cacoon. <laughs> Yo, I'm the guest. I should have a better chair than this. This is just disrespectful. <laughs> how, 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 you get, how do you get the better chair and I'm the guest? I'm the king, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> What's a king to a god, man? Give me that goddamn chair. Let me see. <laughs> nah, you were saying that um, the young people like Did me. Did we start? Yeah, we're starting right now. All right, cool. You're saying young people like me were like depressed because of the social media shit. And uh, yeah, young people in your around your age range is. It, I ain't saying depressed. You use a lot of extreme words, but I'm like, <laughs> yeah, you got a little, little window into my fucking life. Yeah, I got to keep. Re- <laughs> you know, I notice that too. Sometimes when I talk to, uh, it's literally like uh, like white people. They have they use words in an extreme measure. You okay. Know so it 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 it, it right, over. You'll be, you'll be, you're talking about Facebook, and next thing you know, like it's it's evil, it's yeah, depressing, I'm like, what? it's yeah. gonna kill, it's Jesus. genocide. You're like, yeah. whoa, whoa, whoa! I was Take just talking about likes and pokes. Yeah. What the fuck? Like, how is it all that? <laughs> you got a real issue if that's what you know. What I'm saying, yeah. But um, those are extreme words. Um, but either way, um, I was saying that the uh, internet is just the internet. Money is just money. A gun is just a gun. All these are things. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now, how you use them is what makes it. Uh, how it affects you. Yeah. So when people like the internet is it messing you up, it no. You know what I noticed too? I was on TikTok and I was just seeing all this stuff about argument. But then when you change the stuff you like, yeah, the stuff that shows up changes. So now you got a different stuff in your algorithm. Yeah. Like now I got, uh, I was on Instagram and I got, uh, what do I got? Video. I got, I got workout videos. I got inspirational quotes and funny stuff. I don't anything with fights. I don't. I. How do you? How did you change it? You just start liking liking shit. all the other stuff. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, unfollowing anyone who sends who puts up things that are just not um, healthy. Yeah, I would say healthy. Not something funny, but just something. Here, look at this fight. They knocked them out. No, I don't want to yeah. see that. You know, unless saw, it's a boxing match or yeah. an MMA sanctioned med- MMA or something like that. Yeah, but I don't want to see just two people fighting in the street, destroying each other no, over depressing. who knows what. I saw something about like the Canal Street McDonald's and there was like a guy, he took a fucking ax out of his backpack and he just starts like swinging at people, right? Just, just yelling at yeah. people. Yeah. And the person recording wasn't like, oh my gosh, this is terrible, like screaming. He was just like, yo! Yeah, that's crazy. I'm like, this guy has a fucking ax, dude. He Turn that phone around and call the police. Yeah. Instead of, <laughs> instead of recording. But that's, you know, but that's, but see that, is what people are. People, but you say social media. Social media didn't make them record it. They social they recorded it because they wanted to be on social media yeah. because they want to. But because they're the uh, the weakness within them, the weakness within you makes you want attention more than doing the right thing. Yeah, you know, you're. I guess you're right because it's kind of like that argument with like the that fucking who who's the killer, the gun or like or the or the, or the shooter, right? Yeah, the yeah. Guns don't kill people. People kill people, people. too, right? Yeah. So the same thing with so like I think it is. There's definitely to that aspect where it's like people are lazy. They wanna. They don't want to take accountability. It's like, yeah, you don't have to be on Instagram all fucking day. You don't, you don't. have to be on TikTok all you day. Don't. But then people want to be like, it's evil. It's like they no. this thing. The yeah, fuck it's us. like, like no you one, don't have to go on. You can put your phone away. You're responsible for your life. Yeah, so your any, actions. Anything you see, yeah, and your actions. And your actions is what your life becomes, right? So if you if you are um, blaming things that have nothing to that you acquired, mm-hmm. the internet is only in your phone because. The, 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 those apps and social media is only your phone because you put them there. That's such a great you point. You went like, and downloaded like, them. Yeah. It ain't like Instagram jumps in your phone as soon as you get it. No, you got to download it. Yeah. Sign up. Yeah. You went through the whole process and Facebook. You got to, or whatever the sites. Yeah. You got to do that yourself. So, how is it the thing's fault? It's never the thing. It's not. It's not a real lie. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's, I mean, listen, it's like, it is kind of like a gun. It's like, yeah, it has the opportunity mm-hmm. to fucking murk people. Um, it has no. It has it has the uh, capability. Cap- yeah, capability. You, yeah. 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 You you well. It's capable of what you make it capable of. It's right, still right, right. you. Right. 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 Anything mm. that's said on social media, you type that in. Yeah. Right. Or a person types that in. Yeah. It ain't like it just types up. Now, if you 
look at certain things, it'll just give you more of what you like. Sure, sure. It's just like anything that that's a little that, fucked up, dude. But no, <laughs> that's what that's what the world is, right? <laughs> can, no, I no, please, please. can I have an excuse? Can I have an excuse? No, to be not with me. Not All me. Right? Not me. Not me. <laughs> no, no, I don't live in that. Excuses are for losers, bro. <laughs> losers, it, losers make excuses. I'm a big loser. Then winners execute. Yeah, okay. you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I got. Matter of fact, I got this thing coming. Well, I, was, I, was, I don't want to say. Well, it. let me ask you real I'll quick. So, you, everything I totally agree with everything you're saying, and I'm actually glad we're talking because I make. I, I'm I'm that guy. I'm always like social media is evil. Uh -huh. I got I do bits about it on stage, and uh -huh. people like it because that's I think that's what because they, they they're in the same they're way in the same, for you. Yeah, and, and you're actually you're you're giving me a lot of insight. It's like yeah, I don't have to. I have control. Like it's yeah. not this. Not my phone's not bitching me around. Right, but. Have you ever, have you, because you're a confident guy, you know, you say mm -hmm. you're honest on stage, that's why you're fucking hilarious. Thank you. But is there, I, I, it's, it's okay, it's human nature. Have you ever had felt that? What? The comparing yourself to other people. Oh, yeah, or, of course. Okay, okay, good. Of so course. you are human. But yeah. It's, yeah, no, no, no. it's not that, <laughs> but I still bring it back to me. Yeah. I, I'm comparing myself. Right. I went on the thing, I did it, it's still me doing all this. Yeah. But if I stop doing that, it doesn't happen. Right. Right? So, so you're good. You're disciplined. You you feel well, it. Are you able to detect it? I'm aware. It? I'm aware. Okay. Like there's this woke thing and then there's aware. To me, awareness is more than woke. Woke is in the moment of a popular thing. Yeah. Aware is you're paying attention to what things really are beneath the surface. The surface. Yes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So when right. people say it's the thing's fault, I'm like, no. No. But what's the real what's the real reason? Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. What's the real reason? Is that you're like, interacting with it. Just like even when you, you hear even now dating, right? Uh, men and women are, see men are this way, women are this way. Yes, they are. These there's uh, some people who are that way. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But are you going to keep? Uh, do you keep picking those type of people? Right? right. So if you keep picking those type of people, there's nothing wrong with people, right? I mean, there, there's things that you don't. I don't agree with. Maybe I, I, that doesn't align with me. Yeah. But I don't say there's something wrong with them. I say that's how they want to live their life. Yeah. This is how I want to live mine. It doesn't match, right? Yeah. So. I'd rather, you know, instead of trying to connect in a certain way with us, so you could be cool, but yeah. there's a certain level of connection you don't have because you decide you want to live this way, I want to live this way. Right. So, and I respect that you want to live that way, but I'm not going to blame you. Right. Well, there's also, whatever. like, you know, let's say, let's say you're, you're struggling finding someone, you're dating. Uh -huh. um, at a certain point, it's like, all right, you can say, you know, whatever, men in New York are fucked up or, or women, women in New yeah. York are fucked up. But it's like, at what point... Is it you? It's you. And not just like, it's all you, but like... Well, I always the, think it's me. Maybe, yeah, it could be maybe 20% you. It's like, or maybe if you like, you know, people always like, oh, if this person doesn't do this on a date, then fuck them. They, it's like, okay, but well... check this out. Even if you do, if you, if you, even if you go... I'm sorry, I mean to cut you off. This person no, 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 no. Do, yeah. But even if you say the, 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 the women in New York, right? Yeah. It might be true to a degree. It is true to a degree. To a degree, sure. All of them is true to a degree. Yeah. But either you can leave New York yeah. and move and do something else, right? Yeah. Uh, or, or move and, and find women where you think the women are good. Right. So they're still, it's but, still you. Yeah, I can already hear people being, because I used to, I did a joke about this once, and I did it on TikTok, and I got fucking so much shit where I was like, you know, people always talk shit about America. Like, America sucks, America this, America mm -hmm. that. You know, we're all pieces of shit. It's the worst country ever. I'm like, I mean, you don't have to live here. You can go, yeah. if you really think it's that dirty and disgusting, you're, you can't yeah, fucking do it. Yeah, it's simple. But people go like, well, I mean, that's the privilege to be able, maybe some people don't have that option, blah, 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 This blah, is the blah, thing. Blah. People have options. I don't believe in, <laughs> I don't believe in choice. I, I, I'm I totally on your side. It's like, you can, all right, it's it's not easy, but you, you could do what you want to do. But you do, you do wanna, overtime at work. You can right? save up your money. You can go, you can go, you know? This is the thing. You can do whatever you want to do, but are you willing to go through what it takes to do it? Exactly. Right? Yeah, yeah. Like, so that's the thing. That's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, people are like, I could never do that. Yes, you can. But do you want to go through what it takes? Well, I mean, what comes with, with it? Or do you right? have what it takes, really? Yeah, that's like I like is, to yeah. play. I, look, I like to play basketball. Mm -hmm. I like to play football. I like I like playing sports. Yeah, right. But I don't like it enough to go through the rigorous practice that it takes to be excellent at it. Right, right, right. So I like it, but yeah. not to the level that I'm going to sacrifice my time and that energy to be the best at it. And you don't get mad if you're not playing football professionally. But I like comedy enough that yeah. I will go through what it takes to right. get there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. And that's the same thing with yeah. anybody else. But they decide that they, you know, they rather just stay there mad at the thing or the situation yeah. instead of changing the situation and being happy. Because you know why being mad at the situation is fun? Because there's other mad people with you. Yeah. Misery loves company. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? yeah, It is fun. And then you get on Facebook and you voice your opinions and people like it. And right, it's just right. You have yeah, people yeah. in agreeance to you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, me, but, if people are not agreeing with me, 
I'm cool with it in a sense because I know where I'm coming from and I'm solid in my understanding of what I'm talking about. Yeah. Right. Now, other people like when you, when you was talking to me at the beginning of this, uh, and we went outside. We you was talking. Yeah, about we were, we went outside. When you was yeah. doing the social media, did I'm like, no, no, no. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I mean, that's the way you feel, and you want to live how you want to live. Me, I feel like that's a way of living that gives you an excuse to not be as great as you should be. Yeah. You know, because yeah. if you get to blame somebody else, if you can blame anything else, now you get to be a victim. They get to be a villain. You get to be a victim. Yeah. And people love to be a victim. They do. The victim yeah. loves the, the, they need a victim partner. Well, it's also an excuse. It buys you time. I think, you know, to like, no, it wastes time. Well, it wastes time, but it buys like, uh, it's like a, it's like a drug almost where it's yeah, like, yeah, it'll, yeah. It'll, 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 it's like alcohol where it numbs you for a bit, you know, instead of right, being right. like sad, like, oh, give you a juice. why is yeah. this happening to me? What makes uh, you feel good? Right, right, right. You, you, Now you don't. Now you don't have to face the truth. Yeah, yeah. You're still yeah. facing the truth, but you're lying to the truth, lying about the truth. Whatever. Right, right. You're in denial the whole time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, um, I mean, if anyone's like wants proof that the way of that way of living is bullshit, I mean, just look at you. It's just like, I mean, you just got you were on a TV show, mm -hmm. show. Um, we're on a TV. You're on a TV show on Showtime called Flashbush, Flatbush Misdemeanors. Take your time. I know. <laughs> I'm struggling here. I'm, I'm here with I'm, you. I was <laughs> trying to segue. I was in my mind. I'm like, this is good. I'm fucking segueing perfectly. There's and then I'm, I got I, this I, baby. Just, 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 just fumbled. God damn it, completely fumbled it. Take him no, back. You did for great. A you doing time. great. You did fine. But you know what I mean, right? It, so so Flatbush Misdemeanors. Right. You're on one, Showtime. It's, you're on a TV Hulu, show and you're a fucking great comic. You're working all the clubs in the city and you're not. And it's like you're not worried about all that um bullshit you know um don't get me wrong i i i do have a sense of worry because i'm human yeah right but what's I, your extent of worry i try to trumpet oh yeah. my bad was that seinfeld <laughs> now nah, that's the 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 factory joint the uh you know what comes with oh. the sound. <laughs> Sounds like fucking Seinfeld. <laughs> yeah you know i never even thought about yeah, it yeah, I yeah. Do that. <laughs> but um what was it Oh, my, my extent of worry, I think, is um, yeah, it's just uh, like what's but my my worry be like when I'm gonna die, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, or, real shit. Yeah. Am I gonna or or am I going to finish or do the things I want to do before I die? Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And and that normally comes from seeing someone else die. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Social media, <laughs> eat less. Social media, right, right, right. <laughs> right. I see somebody die, especially in, in not in my age range or something like that, and I'm like, oh man, you know, and they yeah. were doing good, and, yeah, you know. I'm getting mean, the point um, where it's not worry, but like I see people like like football players, basketball players, yeah. where they're they're fucking younger than me, uh -huh. and they're fucking just like studs, you know. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, fuck, man, it's just like shit. Like I'm older than I used. It, my whole life, I've been younger. Anyone on TV, mm -hmm. oh, I'm a, I'm blah 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 from University of Kentucky, blah blah. blah. I'm mm -hmm. like, yeah, fuck that fucking uh, old man. And now they're like 26, 22. I'm like, fuck, dude. Right. Like that, that, and like I don't even. So your worry is getting older. I guess a little bit, but I, I look at those guys like fucking like they've never changed. They're all like fucking, you know, athletes. They're men and shit. And mm -hmm. then I still think of myself in my in my own world. Like I, I'm like, there's no way I'm I'm older than that guy. You Wait, know? But no, I'm confused when you mean they've never changed. Well, because because the athletes, it's like, you know, it's always like like um, it, it, it's I'm trying to like not the specific person. It's not uh -huh. aging. It's like whenever you see like a like a, you know. This person just got drafted. They're all yeah. the same age. They're all in like oh, their right. early twenties. Mm -hmm. So you see them on TV, like Aaron Judge. But I that's think, a system. That's a system, right? I, they get them young. I know, but, but I'm starting to be older than these. Even people. our system, you know, our, our thing, you know, entertainment. Everybody else, the America loves you. Yeah, you know, they discard old. Like even with me with comics, right? That's the they love to go to the. It's kind of hacky in my head, but I let them have it. Yeah, everything is old. Like whatever I do, oh, that's because you old. <laughs> like, yeah. Uh, Oh, that's saying that's old. I just made it up. Yeah, cause but it, but you old, so it's old. <laughs> <laughs> that was yeah. funny. That was funny. Yeah. Well, actually, that was Derek Gaines last night. Oh yeah. Um, but they're getting old, right? He's like, yeah, I'm going, you know. But I'll be like, you know, I I may. It's just like it's a uh, um when it comes to age, people just think they discard age and it. But in reality, age is a blessing because you don't get to. I you know, other people don't get to get older. Some people don't get to get old. They yeah. die early. Yeah. Or they true. get sick all their life. Or they don't get I'm in I feel I'm in great shape. Yeah. And I'm getting in better shape. Um, and some people my age or or, or my whatever been around, whatever, they're not in this shape. Yeah. And they're not really taking care of themselves. And yeah, they're not yeah. like you know what I'm saying? They're not feeling good. Yeah. The main thing is feeling good. Yeah. You know, and as I said, when I look at a younger 
uh, especially comics, they be like, yeah, you know, they have this self-deprecating, uh, I, I stunk, and blah, blah, blah. I don't, you know, all that. I, I stunk, I stunk. They can't even night. curse. That's how bitter yeah, they are. Yeah, I, I whore, fucking yeah. suck. No, yeah, it's, I, was, I stink. Oh, I was horse shit. Whatever. <laughs> I was subpar. Whatever. Yeah, whatever it is. I'm like, damn. I mean, I, I be there too. I'm like, damn, I bomb. But but I don't carry that shit with me. Right. You know what I'm saying? I don't yeah. really like, you know, I know that's part of the game. You yeah. know, not doing good sometimes is part of the game. Actually, especially during practice. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but for the main part, people love to do, the, the age is something that people act like uh, it's a damned thing, but it's actually a blessing. But that's, that's the distortedness of, again, the mind of right. making the good thing bad. Well, it's also, it, I think it goes back to putting uh, blame and excuse on shit. So you're like, I'm old, I can't fucking do that. Or I'm old, I can't do uh, whatever, oh, I can't act like this. Basically, you're old, you're done. Yeah, I'm old, old you're, I'm or done. You, it's a rap for you. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm old, I'm thing like, yeah, I fucking, I, and, I'm starting to get sick of jokes from older comics where they're like, you know, when you get old, you start getting out of bed, but things hurt for no reason. I'm like, yeah. all right, motherfucker. It's like, yeah. or you could just do push-ups every day and maybe yeah, it won't you hurt. Yeah, you could actually know? take care of yourself. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You can yeah. eat better. You can yeah. whatever. And... I mean, it's a truth that even even if you do get older, when you get shit, older, certain things, that's what happens. The body starts to disintegrate. You know yeah, 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 yeah. Things start to not work as well as they used to. Yeah. But when you keep yourself in shape or, or you know, take care of yourself, mm -hmm. health-wise, those things are further along, further down than closer. Yeah, yeah. Right? So, if you, you know, some people are like, I got diabetes now. You know, you, you did that to yourself. You ate yourself into diabetes. Right, 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 right. right. Uh, and maybe in their forties or whatever, but that could go. That could not happen if you don't do that. Or, oh, but right. if you do happen to eat better or whatever, and that's gonna happen, kind of for whatever reason, if your body, it would be later on down the line in your sixties, maybe. So yeah. you get an extra twenty years of good living, right, or whatever. Not that that's bad living, but you know, whatever. Yeah. Without it. so, but either way. You can't have it both ways. Like, if you're going to eat like shit and get diabetes, uh -huh. you can't be all... And then complain. Skinny. Yeah, be like, oh, these fucking skinny people. They don't mm. want skinny people. It's but like, that's hey, what man. people do. They'll, they'll destroy themselves and then look at you like, yeah, that's because you... Skinny privilege. You're like, no. It's like, you did that to you and now you want to blame me or, or act like I'm the... Like, this whole movement that women... See, skinny women are evil. Da, 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 da. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, what? No. Evil. They can barely You're move. the evil one. Most yeah. of the time, the fat women are evil. Yeah. They're fucking evil. Yeah. Yo, because they all they do is trash all those women yeah. and then be mad at men for not liking them. I you I were, just was talking to some women the other day. Skinny women are not scary. I, I, like they barely move, dude. Well, no, they didn't say it's scary. They say evil. Evil. They say they're evil. Like they're mean. They're. they're but that's oh, they, but that's know. only. Be, but yeah. That's that's a woman thing. Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. a man. No man goes around. Skinny women are evil. Yeah. No one do that. And men don't go. We skinny don't dudes go. Are evil. We don't go. Boop. Buff guys or in shape guys are evil. Well, we don't gotta, do that. You do have some guys like that, you know. Oh, you mean that. some guy women? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. to me, you a girl if you do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And not transgender like just regular girl man. Yeah. Because to me, it's <laughs> a girl man. Yeah. It's a bitch. We we naturally call them bitch ass motherfuckers. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> but you know when you start complaining about another person. Because you don't like the way you look. Yeah. That's some sucker shit. Because yeah. you did that to yourself. Yeah. But now you mad at them? Well, or you going to try to be mad at them? It's like social media. It's just about the excuses, you know? Yeah. It's just like, oh, what am I going to do? Yeah, like, we living I'm, in sucker lands. Yeah, a lot of yeah. suckers out here. Here's another thing, too. It's like, it's like you know, you got to be patient. Because like all these things, like losing weight or trying to get yourself off social media, I get it. It's tough, man. But it takes time. Yeah. Man. It's like it, it, you With yourself, get, though. If you want to get in shape, you're not going to feel anything for at least a couple months. You're not gonna well, see, see any different. anything for a little while. Well, right, you might, right. you might you feel a little better, but you're not but gonna see. It ain't anything. gonna be the results you expect to get within the time. You know what I'm saying? There's so, that saying. I think it's like the three month thing, where it's like if you're if you're trying to get in shape, it's like a three month thing. It's like the first month you feel better, second month um, you look better, and the third month that's when people start noticing. You know, there's there's oh, some I, fucking thing oh yeah like, yeah. I, yeah I, there's I some, didn't know there's what some the, I never knew what the or thing, thing was, but like that. yeah. But I get I get what you're saying though. But I do. But but it's also having patience with yourself, right? Yeah, it takes time. People don't have patience with themselves, their careers, and and don't get me wrong, I ain't no Dalai Lama, no Buddha, or nothing like that. I'm these people too. <laughs> yeah. But I at least have an understanding or awareness of what I'm doing. Like even I check myself sometimes. Sometimes yeah. sometimes I'll I'll go through the thing of. You know, we were talking about like not what social media, but just like you said earlier, these guys are younger than me. Or I'll look at somebody and they'll be my age and they have so much more stuff or accomplish more than yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll be like, what was I doing with my life or whatever? And then I go, no, 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 stop that. Yeah. You're doing great. Yeah. You've been through this, you've been through that, and you've overcome, you've overcome this, you're that, you're that. Yeah. I start hitting myself with the good shit. Now, how long, how long does that process take? Is what? that from you to be like, man, how the fuck? No, immediately. Okay, good. 
So like immediately, exactly. Like, 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 like when I start, you know, when I normally. So you're better normally. than me. I'll think that, and it'll take me a day. The next day, I'll wake up and like I wake up in the morning, and be like, what the fuck? What was I thinking? Yeah, but that's I, I, I sometimes I get the you whole. Sit in it. I wow. can sit in it for for a, for a day. Yeah. Oh, that's. I don't one. usually let it go for more than a day. But you know what? Everybody's process is different. Yeah. You know, and to me, me, I just started doing that too. Yeah. I started going. Because uh, I listen to a lot of motivational stuff. As I said, uh, on the internet, I, I put motivational things on there. I, I, on YouTube? I, I like motiv- No, uh, not you. Uh, oh, Insta- quotes. Instagram. And, yes, you're, yeah, I do you know, see those. I, I look for that. I like and follow that stuff. Yeah. So now that comes in my feed yeah. instead of the nonsense, the mm-hmm. girls being naked or whatever. Yeah. You know? All those are pretty good, too. No, yeah. I try not to do that as much. <laughs> because, you know why? Because I, I be lusting. I mean, you know, you, all this shit is distraction. Yeah, So is. So lusting. Now. Now I'm horny, horny all the time. Yeah. Now I want to go beat off or something. Yeah. yeah. Like why? Well, I shouldn't be Fuck horny. Beating off. I shouldn't be. No, no, no. Love beating off. Love yourself. <laughs> love yourself. Just in <laughs> in, in moderation. <laughs> yeah, but that's yeah. the thing though. You know, but the, the, honestly, I, I feel like if you when you beating off, you're actually draining your life force because that's those are you know those are possibly people. I heard you, it. You get guilty. If you put too. them in the right place. I read like you, it make you feel guilty and it can kind of fuck up your uh, motivation. Uh, I, that's I've why never I read felt up. guilty. I felt, I felt guilty like, before. I'm like, fuck, I should have been working. Oh, oh, in that sense? Yeah, in yeah, that I feel, sense, I feel yeah. like, <laughs> yeah, guilty, I feel like, like oh, God. <laughs> I'm ruining my, but I do feel I like, my shit. I do feel like I'm wasting my Toilet my paper. Huh? You know what I'm saying? I'm wasting my exactly. time. Exactly, yeah, 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 yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And then I want to rap, because after you nut, you still want to, you, you trying to chill. No one would nut and be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's I'm get to not, work. No. You want to chill for a minute? <sighs> yeah, you know put your feet up, have a cigarette. Yeah, just chill, whatever. But, you know, to me, I feel like if you, yeah, uh, d- doing stuff like that, you know, th- that's the guilt though. Anytime, once I became more aware of the stuff I'm doing, yeah, when I catch myself doing something, I try to change that shit or not do it or immediately. Whatever. Yeah, I try to. That's healthy. Now, I love that. Yeah, because yeah. it's, it's, it's just all about you know. Before I do the same thing you do, I'd be like, oh, uh, uh, going through it for a minute. Then I talk to somebody, be like, no, then they remind me yeah. of the good stuff. Right. But now I remind me. Good. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, you can't always keep calling people every time you go through those mental. No, they get sick. Yeah, <laughs> they be like, me, oh. I've, thought, I've, 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 like, I've lost friends like that. You know, it's right. another call. Another it's just day. too much. You're like, dude, I said, I mean, how many times I gotta ex- fucking explain this to you? You're like, just one more time. Like, fuck. Like, You're good. You're good, man. You're all right. Yeah. And it's hard. <laughs> I'm so sick yeah. of you. Yeah. People be in their head. You know. Yeah, yeah. I'd be, oh damn. Let me, let me ask you this. <laughs> people um, change their number. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they you got you emotionally on. ghosted. Yeah. Um. So. How long have you been doing comedy for? 25 now. Okay, 25 years. So have you been in the city the whole time? Living here? Yeah, yeah. I'm from doing New comedy York. in the city. Know, the yeah, New York. I live in New York. Okay. I mean, I've done it every place. But. Right, right. So I think I think you, um, didn't you just like, kind of recently get into the cellar? Cellar and, 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 um, and the comic strip, Gotham. Yeah. So how, how many years in were you when you started breaking into the clubs in the city? I just got into the cellar. Just got into the stand. Yeah. After what, 20? Uh, 25 years. That's a long time. Not you know. really. I, no, I don't mean like, I mean, I don't mean, well, I mean well, like. Let, like me, let me put it in perspective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're saying it's a long time. Yeah. I'm like, it's fine. I mean, it's, a bad, it's not a bad thing. Because just, I still got on TV. I still did movies. I still did. Like, I feel like people get, a lot of comics get confused. Like, a cell is a nice place to be, but it's not the prize. Yeah. It's not the prize. Not for me, anyway. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Movies, TV shows, commercials. Yeah. Um, animation. Those are the things, voiceovers. Those are the things that I want to do. Those are the prizes. Those are the goals. Yeah. yeah. The seller and every other club is just a gym to practice my skills for yeah. stand up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But and then and then the special is the prize. The, I that totally but like sometimes those are just like gyms, when right. you get like sometimes people will use those as like um uh things that they value themselves off of you know well, like oh they, if i'm yeah. not in here within like i don't know 10 years or or if i'm not here years, i'm not worth nothing. Right, I'm a piece of shit and I'm gar- like like um I'm just saying this because there's probably comics out there. I'm one included. Like, if you were to be like, "Hey, man, yeah, 20 years from now you'll get into this cellar," I might be like, "Fuck," you know? Like, like, how do you like, like, what was your? If process? somebody said 20 years I'll be in the cellar, I'll be like, mm. but if they say, uh, uh, you'll be doing movies and TV throughout the time, I'd be like, <laughs> that's great, yeah, yeah. So, so like, it's what, all perspective, yeah, yeah. So yeah. would you rather? So, or would you rather be in the cellar 20 years and then get to do movie and TVs or movie and TVs and radio, or whatever? Yeah. Um. Or, or vice versa. Like you know what I'm saying. Like so, yeah. which one? What's important to you? Yeah, yeah. Like, well, I think me. I think what I'm trying to say is just like because the whole it's not like the whole time. It's not like you just found your voice or whatever. 19 years in, like you've mm-hmm. been fucking hilarious the whole time. Thank you. So I kind of get. I think it goes back to that. You know, there's. A, I think I keep we keep hammering it. Is like when you're that fucking good and you're killing that hard and like everyone knows you're funny and like 
you know, there's obviously this, this fuck like Manhattan comedy scene mm-hmm. that everyone's trying to break in, like this fucking shit mm-hmm. where everyone's like, I guess like the popular club. It's like yeah. when you're not in, but you know you're a fucking murderer uh-huh. and stuff. It's like um, you you do a good job. You say like you 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 can talk yourself out of that shit, but it's just like I don't know. It's like fuck. I feel like we already covered this now that I'm, I'm saying it out loud. What? Just the whole thing of been like like not letting it like get to you. You know. Um, as I said, you know, the talking to myself, but also yeah. the, the one of the talks to myself is the reminding myself who I am. Yeah. As I said, you, I've done these other things without these places. Yeah. Like with, like so why would why would not having that right. make me less? Right. right when I'm right. still achieving. Yeah. If I'm still achieving the things that I actually want to achieve. Yeah. That's supposed to be uh, a <laughs> the, the 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 clubs are just well certain clubs would be like a little hub. It may be a vessel into these other things. Sure, 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 sure. But if not, and I still get there, the goal is to get there. Yeah. How I get there, I'm not. It's well, you know what I'm saying. I'm, but people just, it's just like a. I think it's more of a. I'm trying to like compliment your like kind of like um your I guess tenacity. I don't well, mine is the. But, yeah. but I have an understanding of the goal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like people. Uh, I haven't. So the, if I know what the goal is, the road that I go. Yeah. Does it matter? I right. mean, I would like a fun, easy, good road. <laughs> One year in, let's <laughs> fucking go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah TV. That's not even a road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, that's uh, but the, but you know the, the the fun, easy. I would like a fun, easy, whatever. But if I have to go a certain other route, that's what it is. And yeah, I've and yeah. I've learned to, I've learned to, like a lot of people went through the cellar or been through the whatever clubs they went through and the, whatever helped whatever or whatever happens. I realize that. Their journey may not be my journey. Mm-hmm. Most most likely, it's not my journey. Yeah, I'll say uh, here's so, one. And once you yeah. understand that, you don't have to keep stop keep putting yourself in a position mentally right. going, man. They're doing that. They're, that's not your way. Or like I got to get there because of that. Yeah, yeah but yeah, no, yeah. but that's not your way. I'll tell. Well, there's one story about um, Mike Vecchione. You know mm-hmm. Mike Vecchione, right? Yeah. He told me that like um, there was a point in his career uh, where he was. Um, not at the cellar, but mm-hmm. everyone else was there. So he would like he would go be hanging out there, mm-hmm. but like er, all of his peers were at the oh, cellar, yeah. right? And Mike was a fuck. It and was he's, always, he's, funny. he's a killer. He's funny. a killer comic. Great writer. Finally, you know, he auditions, he gets in, uh-huh. obviously, and good shot. Mm-hmm. And he immediately got in and he was getting like fucking like 15, 20 spots a week. As opposed to like and and, and I and like in a weird way, I think he was trying to tell me because now he looked back on it retrospectively. He's like, I got in when I was like over prepared. He wasn't nervous about the audition. He uh-huh. said he just went in and he was immediately yeah, cleaning up, getting all these spots, you right. know, as opposed to like being like, oh, you get in, let's say whatever, you know, when everyone right. else yeah. got in, maybe you're not as strong. And then, you know, you get in, spots. Get in whatever, whatever spots, because mm-hmm. you're not as strong. You're not murdering, right. you know? So I think he was kind of being like, Telling, he was telling me, like, in the process, it was, like, obviously, you have those emotions, but then he looks back at it. He's like, I think that, that was the way I preferred. Yeah, that was yeah, my yeah. journey. Yeah, it's always yeah. better in hindsight because then you go, when you look at it, you be like, maybe I wasn't ready ready for that. But, oh, but you know what the biggest thing that, that helps me with a lot of this stuff? I do a lot of spiritual work. Yeah. And spiritual work helps you put things in perspective. Yeah, like you like know what? what? Give me an example of some spiritual stuff. Just like the stuff I just told you. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah, yeah. Stuff, It's really, it just makes you, it, like, it, my, the path, that's not my path. Yeah. Which for me is for me. Mm-hmm. You know, also, you know, I believe in God and the universe. And, and I'm not like a religious person, but I do believe in, the, you know, there's a higher power or whatever. Yeah. And once you become aligned, in alignment with what you're trying, what you're supposed to be and trying to do and not add the other stuff, like it's supposed to happen this way. It that that happened for them this way. Right. They offered them this kind of lies. You know what I'm saying? Think about it. Yeah. Yeah. It's kinda just lies, like your yeah. expectations. Uh, you're taking your expectations out of other people's lives, trying to make sure it, and think that it's supposed to be in your life. And right. that's for what to me. Everyone is here to offer something different in the world. So why do you? Why would you go that path when that's not what the universe wants you to be or how it wants you to contribute to the world? Yeah. So so just accept whatever your path is. Yeah. Practice, do the things you need to do to be as good as you can be mm-hmm. and let the rest happen the way it's supposed to happen. Yeah. And be okay with it. Like 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 if you only got one life, we're gonna worry your way, worry your way all the way to the cellar, worry your way all the way to the to the TV show, worry your way all to the dance class, that you're worry your way all to that shit yeah. ain't no fun. No, you're right, dude. I'm, cause I, I it's not a fun it, life. It's really I mean, this is really hitting home for me because I worry a lot 
and I spent a lot of time worrying about it. And, and that's no fun, yo. I, I I'm a, at least I'm aware of it, but it's make it's you 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 this is motivational. Motivation, motivation well, hopefully, I, hope, I don't want to be motivated. I want to be inspirational. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not motivational, inspirational. No, motivation. it is. It is motivation it is. for the moment. Ins- inspiration is kind of internal. Yeah, like you, you see it a different way, and you whatever. Motivation is like, yeah, it's hype. It's like music. Yeah, but after the song is over, you're good. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I want to. As you leave, I'm like, all right, let yeah. me go fucking worry about it. Yeah, let me go again. beat off. Yeah. <laughs> Um, <laughs> so let me ask you real quick. How did you, so how did Flatbush uh, misdemeanors come about? How did you get that role? Well, actually, me and um, me, Dan and Kev. Yeah. Uh, you know, we used to we used to uh, run around the comedy clubs, right? Yeah. Uh, we chatted up, talked shit. Kevin to each Iso other. and Dan. Uh, Dan Perlman. Perlman. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kevin, Kevin yeah. Iso, Dan Perlman. Yes. Uh, <laughs> my son and his best friend on the show. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> wayward friends. <laughs> I yeah. don't know what kind of friends they are on the show. It's, it's very unique, but um. Uh, on the show, <laughs> but mm. either way, um, I uh, we was used to do shows together, yeah. And then um, they were telling me about this project, but but prior to that, they wanted to do a sketch, yeah. And they're like, sure, let's do the sketch. So we go do the sketch. So you were in the original thing that they they shot. There was another. Ske- there was a hold on. There was a sketch. Okay, okay, go ahead. Sorry. There was a sketch Sorry, prior there. to yeah. the show. So we did a sketch, and then after the, we did the sketch, the sketch was good. It was yeah. funny. Everybody liked it. It was good, but the main thing I noticed about it was our chemistry in in when we did something, right? Yeah. Then we did. Then they said, "Yo, we got this show. We trying to put together blah blah blah. You want to play Dan's dad?" I was like, "Hell yeah!" Boom. We get, then then you know they give me some lines, but I get but you know they also gave me room to improv. Yeah, yeah. And they're like, "Yeah, do that thing you do, whatever." And then that's what made it happen. That's that's when we we it was a web series. Yeah. And then after the web series. Uh, you know, I forget about you know I do a lot of stuff like and just forget about it. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Because it's better that way. <laughs> yeah. Because if you like, hope this happens. I hope that happens. Right. You you be end up in the worry. Every day you're checking out. views on the, yeah. the web series. Yeah. Yeah. Just do it and leave it alone. Yeah, yeah. Right. And I'm do it. Try to do great work and leave it alone. Yeah. Right. And if it comes back, it will. If it doesn't, that's cool. You're on to your next thing. Okay. But so it's years later, and then um you know I, you know I forgot about it. And then by the time it, it was during the pandemic, they was like, yo, we got picked up. I'm like, I seen that on the internet. I'm like, oh, that's so dope. Yeah. I didn't know I was going to be on the show. Yeah. I was just like, oh, that's dope. Congratulations. Yeah. That was up. Yeah. No thought and, of you were like. No, I didn't, you know, I, I, you know, I didn't know if they, you know, I don't know. Like when it comes to the, the entertainment industry, I really just don't expect anything. But except for when I'm doing what I need to do. Yeah. yeah. I expect you know, the results from that. Yeah. But how people are going to behave, I'm always like, you know, just waiting to for, to see how they behave. Okay. Okay. Right. I don't expect them to do something. Expect them. You, you're you going to tell me who you are. Yeah. So I, you know, I, I, so whatever happened, you know, they ended up calling me and going, yeah. yo, man, we love to see if you'd like to be a part of this show. And boom, that's how we got there. Right. Did you have to audition for the role? Or did you? Was that a role you played in the in the original? That was a role I played in the original. Okay, so I you played the father. I played the father. Okay, yeah. cool. In the in the uh, oh, that's fucking awesome, series. dude. Yeah. Now, how was that experience? Just like, I mean, like being on a fucking. I've never like I've never had that, so I'm so curious. Like just being on, on a TV. No, I've been on uh, TV shows for just uh, one one day commercials, right. one day. But like being a series regular on a show, like uh, like number two or three on the uh-huh. fucking call sheet, you know, it was wonderful. I, yeah, you know the funny thing? I didn't so even great. know about all that stuff because yeah. I didn't. I'm not. I'm not into. Uh, I'm not always into like pecking orders and stuff. Right. I mean, I understand it in comedy, or whatever. But in in acting, yeah. Uh, in the acting world's a little different. So, but but I didn't know like if you're this on the call sheet, low shows your level of importance on the show. Yeah. I did, but then I found out. Yes, I'm on the in the top area of yeah. the call sheet. Yeah. And uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I I loved it. It was a great experience. Um, Dan Dan and Kev they really created something special. Mm-hmm. Just not just because I was a part of it, but just because the writing was amazing. Yeah. The uh, performances was amazing, and they did something that I it's probably happened before, but they just employed so many comics. Yeah. They put so many comics on the show, and to me that was so. Amazing what they did, yeah. Uh, especially for me to be there while they're doing it and to see them do it, it's just so dope. That I think that was the biggest part for me too, for the show to do the show and then to see to see my comrades get a taste of it. Yeah, and also yeah. just being like in like the the machine, I guess, like with big cameras and like Showtime and like industry and like and they're like running everything, right? That, that's got to be fucking. That that was a great so experience crazy, yeah. too, but um, I don't know how it is with other places. But yeah. 
I feel, honestly, I felt like I had such a good time and such a good, good treatment there. Yeah. I felt like, man, this is <laughs> this is scary because I feel like this is such a great time that when I get onto another set or another situation, I think it's gonna be like it's yeah. gonna be just different. It's gonna be colder. Right, you peaked less, almost, yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. all right, come on, let's go. Blah blah blah. No. You know, they were, you know, right. we was on the set. They was, you know, playing music, yeah. talking. Everyone was cool. Well, not not to be, like, negative, but it probably won't because, like, that set, like, you knew those guys. Like, you Why know, did you say not to be negative while you be negative? Um, to, to, <laughs> to be really <laughs> shitty to and trick, honest. To be cold and honest. Did you try to trick me out of, <laughs> Try to trick me like, this is not <laughs> negative, but it is. <laughs> to, to, to give you the harsh reality, it won't, it won't probably, because you're not going to do a show. Well, it's going to be a different experience. Yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah. but I don't, I don't know. It can still be good, but it, like with your like friends that you're close to. It just you know? won't be that experience. No, no, It'll no, be no. another one. It won't be that. But yeah. I just felt like, oh, man, I don't know if it's going to be as, as that good. It might even be better. Who knows? It could if be, If you yeah, keep the yeah. good energy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, but most of the time, I do things. I have a good time because yeah. I enjoy life, man, and yeah. I accept it. Yeah. Like, a lot of people don't enjoy things because they don't accept. They just don't. They just want to fight everything. It's not right. Right. Or they're like you said, worried. Just let it be, and in time, it'll be over, and then there'll be another thing. Yeah. Again. No, I just wanted to ask you about that, man, because like as I saw you were on the show and mm -hmm. I saw you were posting, and I'm just like, um, I'm thinking about you, and I'm thinking about all the comics on there, and just like you know, like 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 that's like I, I felt so good for you guys, and I felt mm -hmm. just like happy. Because like that's something like I want to do one day, just be on a, like a regular on a show and just show up to work every day and uh -huh. like you, you got line, you're just fucking playing pretend Thank with your you, homies, man. dude. So I just felt really good it was, it was that great, you're on it. Yeah, it was great. It was yeah, great. and I, I believe you'll get your. Everyone gets a chance to do the thing that they want to do uh, as yeah. long as you're doing what you're doing what you're supposed to do. Right. You know, as I said, you know that wor that worry, that worry, that, that, that yeah. internet, that comparing yourself. All that does is take you out of alignment of your goal. Yeah. On the path that you're supposed to be going. Yeah. If you just stick to the thing you're trying to create. Stick to the things you're trying to do and applaud the people who win. And when you win, you know what I'm saying? You do your thing. You know what I'm saying? Your, your win is coming. Your, your opportunities are all coming. Yeah. Like even now, just from me seeing you from the time we used to be on LOL, right? Oh, LOL yeah. for a while. Yeah. And just to see you now doing things, you just went to what? Kuwait. You went to, your things are happening. It's happening for you. Oh, thanks. So you're like, Ira. You're, like, you're, talk, you're talking about where? You're <laughs> talking about that? Ira. Yeah, yeah. Is yeah. that how I sound like? Yeah. That's, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's what everybody sounds like to me when they just start talking about, oh, I went. I'm yeah. like, yo, you, you're doing great. Yeah. You know, but. Stop yeah. looking over here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Maybe that's Appreciate maybe. where you at. Because yeah. we all all of us have these dirt like, you know, I've done I've been I've never been to Kuwait. Yeah. But I've been to other places. I've been to Germany, Amsterdam, England, mm. uh, you know, Hawaii, whatever. But Japan, Japan. Yeah, but the difference is that was during my era of where you were at in since in a sense, right? Yeah. So like along the line and I wasn't no, I was probably younger. I don't know. Yeah. But either way, but either way, it's still yeah. Along the lines of you're still getting great moments in your life. Right. Uh, but make sure you appreciate those so, uh, and, and in each moment, in each moment. Right? Yeah. So, so you appreciate it now. And then later on, you can look back and be like, yeah, that was a good time. I had a good, you don't want to hate it now or, or just so busy looking at the, the other thing you want that yeah. you're not even enjoying the thing you so got. Over, or looking over. Yeah, all overlooking the good. Your, yeah. your blessings. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Everybody yeah. got good stuff happening for them, but they're so busy looking at other people's good stuff, yeah. they feel like they stuff ain't good enough. Yeah. It's almost like. And that's brutal. It's almost like you're looking at a treasure, like mm -hmm. across the road. You're looking at a treasure road, over your treasure. Right, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so I got to ask you. So, um, where, so you grew up in New York. Where did you go to high school? Four places. Four places. One each year? Four, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what was it? Uh, Grady. Grady. William E. Grady. That's my first high school. Oh, where is this? What part of New York? That's uh, Coney Island, New York. Okay. Around Coney Island. Cool. Coney Island, Brooklyn. Okay. That's where Avery grew up. Avery Mason. I don't know if you know that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah I know you're talking about. He used to get robbed all the time. Who, Avery? <laughs> yeah, he, like, he wow. said the people would go up to them and make up days. They'd be like, it's fucking Leaf Wednesday. And then if he didn't have a leaf on, like, they would just go, up, Leaf Wednesday. And then he'd be like, what? He's like, you don't have a leaf on you? Like, a leaf. And then it would just beat him up and take his shit. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. And he was that size? No, he, he went through a growth spurt, he said, when he was, like, in his late 20s. Oh, okay. So he, was, uh, <laughs> he was not. Late 20s? That's what he said, yeah. Isn't that fucking crazy? Yeah, I thought you stopped growing in your in your teens. No, he said like, like maybe not. Maybe like early mid, mid, early twenties. Yeah, 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 he out of college. Yeah, so he was like out of he, college. I think no. Out of, I thought I'm sorry, normally out of, by the uh, time you hit high school, high out of high school. Okay, yeah. Okay. So he went he had like, like a late growth spurt. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, yeah, you went to Grady, Grady, Lindenhurst. That's okay. in Long Island. 
Okay. Suffolk, Long Island. Yeah. Linda Harris. Um, Lincoln. And where's that? Uh, that's in Brooklyn. Back. That's it was, that's oh, literally uh, them there across the road from Grady. And these are these are chronologically. You're you're saying them. This is each year. Fourteen. When I, so you mind. went back to Brooklyn. So you yeah, went to back Long to Brooklyn. Okay, okay, okay. And then uh, after that, it was Queens. It was Andrew Jackson. Okay. Why it did was you, the last high school? I went. Why was why, why all the movement? I was in foster homes. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. So these are different places I've lived. Why? I, why can't they just have you in one place? Why are they moving you around? Oh, because the the each place wasn't suitable, or it wasn't. I didn't like them, or it wasn't. You know. Do you have that decision? You're like, I don't like this, and yeah, yeah. I'd be like, I, okay. I got, I want to leave here because for whatever reason. Okay, I didn't know. I don't. I don't. I haven't been in foster. Oh yeah, yeah. You yeah. can um like if, if your you, choice. If yeah, if it's not healthy or you don't feel a comfort, whatever it may be. You, okay. You have to leave. What did you? What was not? What did you feel was not healthy for you? Each one is just different reason for each one. It's probably. I don't know. You think maybe <laughs> maybe it's you? That's <laughs> <I got laughs> after the fourth one. You're like you're like well, Kree, why we want to look at yourself a bit? Me. Yeah. <laughs> It was all me, but yeah, let me no. see. I'm trying to think about which one. Yeah. I don't know what the. F- oh, you know, you know, it might have been. I had to leave because maybe I was acting up at the time. I don't know. Like doing what? Uh, uh, probably was school. Maybe yeah. it was something with school. Back I don't rates. know. I'm I'm guessing that. I don't even know why I actually left them all, but uh, one I the last one I aged out. Okay. That means you know you get to the age where you could leave foster care. Right. The one before that, uh, I'm not sure what happened. Um, I think it was just, I know one where the, the, the foster father, he he was aggressive. He used to beat us. Jesus. Uh, not just a beating. He'd be like. <laughs> like mentally and physically? It would, it'd, be, it'd be like, uh, it would be beating with a belt, but. Sure. Stand. But it'd be for stuff that just wasn't probably worth the beating. Like what? You know what I'm saying? You. you Oh, maybe we didn't cut the grab. Maybe we didn't do our chores or something. I don't you didn't know. do your chores and he beat you with a belt? Yeah. Wait, but, so, but that's what black people do. They beat you with a belt. That ain't like, I don't know. I mean, my mom used to beat me with a belt. She's a, she's a little Asian lady. She beat you with a belt? Yeah, she beat me with a belt. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah that's what normal beatings are. <laughs> cool. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think everyone should get, like, not. That's everyone. how people, that's how you know so. That's how you know you're talking to someone else. I got beaten. Oh, cool. All right. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that means you, you, you have a. A sense of groundedness. Right. You know most saying? people are like, how dare people she? People who don't get beat, don't, they're not, they're not, they're the problem. Yeah, <laughs> because they don't they don't understand consequences. Right, right, right. So they just do stuff. Yeah, right. With without regard to other people. Also, the whole thing of like, how dare they touch you? I'm like, what are you talking but about? But those bro? are the people it's who like, get hurt real bad in life too. Yeah, well, because they fuck. They don't think anything's gonna. happen. They think it's impossible for someone they, to punch they, them. They run and into, then yeah. they go crazy, and someone's like, I'm not having it, and they beat the. F- I've seen this so yeah. many times. They beat the fuck out of. Oh them. yeah, they get that ass whipped. Yeah, because and it still doesn't work. Uh, Most times it's still like they'll still they'll re- they'll they'll be all fucked up. They'll recover in a month and they're still assholes. Oh yeah, because you can't change overnight. No, no. But no. I do think that it does give you an awareness, and you stop behaving a certain way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, For because sure. yes, certain things you do to people, and then when you realize the consequences that are possible, that are detrimental to you. Yeah, you stop. You you be like, I don't want that to happen. Yeah. So I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I, and that's I, what an ass whipping does for you. It makes you heed, uh, uh, understand the war. The uh, that's a warning. Sign. Not even it's a result from not listening to the warnings. Yeah, of your behavior. I mean, that's that's how you like. Uh, I was just watching fucking uh, Zero Dark Thirty. You seen that one? No. When they find Osama bin Laden? No. They're, I mean, they're torturing people for information. It's just uh-huh. like, yeah, I mean, like, I, I mean, listen, I'm not an advocate for torture, but it's like, yeah, if you fucking hurt people enough, they're going to just fucking give up, you know? Like, like, and you, when wait, I, wait, you mean, uh, oh, you mean torture torturing will make people, people to, will make to get information. Yeah. It's so if you hit, like, that's, a, it's a, it is a way to kind of, I think this uh, is a terrible no- analogy because <laughs> it's, it's a, terrible. It's a little extreme. Torture. What did I say <laughs> at the beginning of this shit? Why people use extreme Things I'm not even white. I'm still doing it. You have white mentality. I do you have, have white, white brain. <laughs> no, but what, oh, fuck. What I, what I was trying to say is like, I'm not saying it's good to hit people because you can't just beat people up and not cutting the grass. We're not but talking it, about that. Yeah, yeah, but no, we're talking about. More, yeah, I like to be extreme. One, all right, can I be extreme? One, we're talking about. I, I'm talking. I'm talking about when when you you get chastised for your behavior. Yeah, yeah. I ain't saying everything deserves a whipping, but I think a whipping sometimes is necessary or a, a level. A, of intense punishment is something so you'll remember 
Yeah. That this comes with consequences. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Right. And sometimes a, a punishment just ain't it. Stay in your room. Now you got all your toys and all your all your things in your room. Yeah. And you still have, you still have uh, access to having fun. Yeah. Now, but if someone makes you stand in a corner all day. Yeah. No fun. No nothing. Yeah, no fun. No. No. Now don't turn around. Don't turn your head. Looking at going. Turn the fuck around. That. that no right eyesight. There, You're just looking yeah, at a you wall. You look in the corner yeah. and listen to people walk around. Yeah. Listen to people talking. Hear the TV people doing. Turn around. You can't watch the TV. You gotta just listen to it. Listen yeah, to people. Yeah, yeah. Like just give you a feeling of being. <laughs> oh, I don't want to be here again. Be, yes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I won't. Exactly. Do that so thing. it yeah. doesn't always have to be ass whipping, but it does needs to be some form of punishment. Right. To get you in order. You right. You can't talk everyone into goodness. So wait. So he used to hit you. For, so I just want to. So the foster homes, right? Um, I always think, I think maybe there's two I have in my head where it's like. It's a family that you go into, mm-hmm. and there's a there's a, a dad, a uh-huh. mom, and a bunch of kids, right? Right. Or is it one of those where it's like... Sometimes it's not both. Maybe it's just a woman. It's just a woman? Yeah. And... A mom or something. And so, so every, every, each of these years, you're at a different foster home, right? Most... Uh, did you... Not every year, but yeah. a good amount, too. I did about... Do you know I, any of the foster two, parents now? Do you still keep in contact with any of them? Uh... No, they're all deceased. They're all dead. The ones that I could remember. Okay. Okay. So it's like the last few. Right, right, right. So did you have any? Um, so you do do you have like resentment that he hit you for the bullshit? Yeah, I don't, I don't care about it. Yeah, he's dead too. He's dead but too. Yeah, but I don't. Uh, it wasn't abuse. It wasn't like an abuse, but it was just. It was like an abuse, but because it was uncomfortable being there. Yeah, that's why you left though, because you're. Yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah, it just was. Well, I was at, I was messing up in school, and mm-hmm. most of the time when you when you don't mess up when you start messing up in school or stop listening to them, they would be like, "Look, if you if you want to be here, you have to blah blah,", blah. and then you be like, oh. and then I'd be like, "All right," and then I still do what I want to do. Yeah. So I have a rebellious spirit too myself. So yeah, that's so weird. Like that's so fucking like that. I, I, that doesn't sound good to me. Where right. it's like, let's say let's say you're say you're a foster child, right, and you're going into a situation where. I mean, they're trying to give you somewhat of a family, yeah. right? And if they're like, "Here are the rules for you to stay here," that doesn't because in real family, know, they, you the, can't leave. Yeah, you you're know, stuck yeah, with that. You got to. That's de- the key. That's yeah. the key. That's why I wasn't in, at those places because yeah, your family until you fuck up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's not. That's not. That that's not cool. right. Yeah, that's not. Cool. That's like a job. No, yeah, that's not. That's like, not work. You know that's literally what it is. You're a foster child. Yeah. So long uh-huh. as you're not a problem, uh, an extensive problem. I got this joke I used to talk about. I'd be like, yeah, we, they'd be like, you, you mess up and they'd be like, keep it up. We'll get another one of you for the same price. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and that's pretty much what it is. And they used to say that too. They'd be like, we get another, we, we, we're going to get the same money. We'll just get some money. And they're, they're getting, they're getting, that's what I'm saying. They're getting paid to foster you guys. Yeah, yeah. That's fucking, that's a weird, yeah. that's a weird way to make a living. Yeah, well, it's a hustle. It's a hustle, yeah. <laughs> it's a hustle. It was the, uh, it was passive income before <laughs> passive income came around. Yeah. At what point do you like, like I've heard people dog walking, like they mm. resort to like I don't know collecting cans, well, but kid, like I'm gonna well, collect kid, kids. Kids is extra money. You just got you know you just that's an extra check coming in. Yeah. And you just you know give them a little guidance. Some of I think some of them have good intentions, and some of them just have a hustle going on with them. Yeah. You know, making money. Right. So, um, it's not normal to be fucking bouncing around from school to school, but did you, do you think you had any type of normal high school experience? Like, I don't know, you go to prom, you have, you got friends, you go out drinking, smoking. I went to a junior high shit. school prom, one junior high school prom. Okay. The rest, I never made, I wasn't at prom stage yet. It must have been hard to make friends and shit when you're just leaving every year, right? Well, you make friends and then you don't have, then you make new friends. Right. You know, that was pretty much what it is. But that, that's, that's the thing about me too, in a sense, I think about. I don't have too many childhood friends. I hardly yeah. have any. Well, it takes have, like, time to build one. those. It takes time to build those. Yeah, up. you have to be with them for a while. Yeah, you know, and, yeah. or, or you know, saying grow up and have you know whatever. But yeah. I don't have any because I went in foster homes when I was nine. Yeah, and by then, I guess that was it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I I'd meet people and I know some of my foster brothers were my buddies, kind of. Yeah, and then as in the, when you get into foster homes, it was just foster home. We don't. Yeah. Yeah, that was it. How was that junior prom though? We how you have a hot uh, date? It wasn't all that. It wasn't. <laughs> it, was, it was just. It was just one girl I wanted to dance with. I never danced with. Uh, you know, why a not? Few, a few things. I'm shy. I was a very shy dude. But you, you, bro, you about to fucking leave. But you, in school, you, I know, you know how it is. You go to another. But rejection, you, you know, reject. <laughs> that sounds good now. 
Yeah, yeah that's yeah. not like now. This I is not the Kareem I know right now. Yeah, like, yeah. Kareem I know right now would have fucking asked her to dance. I still have some shy points to me, but, you know, shy moments with me, but for the most part, I know it doesn't me. It doesn't hurt you. Yeah, it only hurts you in your mind. Like like most of the stuff, the stuff that we afraid of, this isn't our mind. I think it hurts the most when everything's over, and then in the future you're looking back at it with regret. Yeah, that's what hurts the most, and that's forever. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So you can I'm, go and try to think about what I regret. No. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. It's only it's, you know, with women, I don't really regret much. Yeah. I appreciate the experiences I had. Right. Well, with that one girl, um, you were just scared to like what because you didn't know how to dance. No, I just didn't want to get rejected, you, you know. Just, oh, you just didn't want to act. Oh, yeah, you don't want to get rejected. You yeah. know, when you're young, you know, rejection is a, ooh. Yeah. Especially it's, if there's some boy, other dudes around and try to. Yeah. They be like, yo, you talk to them. Oh, she ain't she played you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As kids, you know, yeah. we, 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 we hype the failures. They give up. you a fucking nickname. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so was it at the dance and then at then, the dance and at then the prom? You were just you're just. But after that, you never I've never seen none of them again. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So it ain't. Yeah, it's nothing. Right. Yeah. Okay. Would well, you play any sports and shit? Uh, I played. I know now you play football. I can play basketball. basketball. I can play football and basketball, but I haven't played those. In. Yeah. I really don't play no more. But back then, I played a little. Uh, I was what team was I? Was, I was on a um, basketball team. I was, yeah. I was on a basketball team, right? In that was in Long Island, in the Hurst. Yeah, I was pretty good. I was probably one of the best there. Yeah, but I didn't get to play. I missed one practice and I didn't get to play. But I didn't get to go. I didn't get to go to practice because my foster parents didn't want to. It was it was a tough part because everybody, all the kids, their parents would drive them home. Pick yeah, them up, or drive them home from a practice, and they was trying to get everyone to parents to do that. Yeah, my parents probably didn't want to do it. So now I felt embarrassed. Yeah. You know, now I'm like, oh, my parents, everyone else is helping. Yeah. Mines aren't. They, they just didn't want to? Yeah. Yeah. They didn't want to. Just. So, wait, wait, you were the best player, and you missed one practice, and they didn't, they didn't play you? Yeah, they, they, yeah, yeah. They played. Oh, my God. Because, but, you know, you know, back in the day, they don't care about, they, they care, but they don't care. Yeah. In the sense of, like, but it was my first game, though, so I did the scrimmage. I think I did the scrimmage game. Yeah. I mean, I was doing Jordan moves. I was coming up under the basket. And yeah. I yeah. love Jordan. The tongue out and everything. What? Yeah. That was like, what? Yeah. Uh, but they didn't, um, yeah, they didn't nurture it at all. Yeah. So, they, like, they weren't trying to, like, make you guys better. You don't have no support from your elders. It's a, <laughs> it's tough. Yeah. Did that that suck? Because, like, it sound, to me, it sounds like you, you wanted to play really bad. I did want to play, and I probably would, I, I, probably, I may or would have been further along with, you know, did more with it if I would have really, but I just didn't have the passion that other people have for the game. Right. Like I have for comedy. Yeah. Like comedy, once I started comedy, I never wanted to stop. Yeah. I never, I wanted to do it every day. I thought about comedy all day. I don't know. You know right, 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 right. Yeah, comedy is a certain obsession. Yeah. Once you, you know, when you like it, like when you, and this is, even when I wasn't doing good in kind of like the, the early portion of comedy, I was bombing, uh, I would, I still wanted to do it. You just keep getting up I and going. I kept going up. Yeah. I was like, I know I can do this. I know I can do this. Like, this it's, it's the most faith I had in anything I ever done. Like, I just, like, I know I can do it. I just got to, I got to figure it out. But I know I can do it. Yeah. I knew, I just something I knew I could do. When did you, when did you start uh, comedy? Uh, man. Uh, let's see, around, I guess, 98. Okay. And this is out of, uh. This is out of high school and stuff. 98, 99, what did I do? Yeah. This is out of high school, right? Uh, No. no, no this is in high school. school. No, not out of high school. No, oh. oh, no, I was, I thought you meant as soon as I got out of high school. No. Yeah. When I was out of high school, yes. Yeah, okay. And um, why did you want to do comedy? Um, I just love to make people laugh. Yeah, yeah. Were you always good at, were you good at that? Growing I was up? shy. Yeah, I was shy. I was like, I would be funny when I'm around my friends. Yeah, like we quiet, but if we get into a group, mm -hmm. yeah, I shut down. But you must have had a moment Anybody because else. everyone has that moment where they fucking say something and it fucking rips, and it's just no, no. I used to be funny with my friends. I yeah, said. yeah, yeah. So, so my friend, if I knew you and I was comfortable with you, I could be funny. They'd be like, damn, you funny. Yeah. But other than that, I'd be quiet. Like yeah. I, I get around a bunch of people, I'd be quiet. Yeah. I didn't, you know what I'm saying? <coughs> right. I was just nervous. Uh, I, I didn't have the confidence. Yeah. Well, of what I was. Right. Where were you like, um, 
What, what were you scared of? Because I had that too. Like I was never when I was growing up, I never spoke up. Like I was always do like if there was a circle of, of people, uh-huh. I was always on the outside trying to like like stick my head in. You know, so I was rejection. just following whatever the conversation. I was just following. I just wanted to be included and stay in. It's one of the things I still struggle with now. Is just like rejection on wanting to do good all the time. Like when you want to do good all the time. Yeah. You can practice and you know can practice a lot, but the thing about comedy is, you can practice a certain amount, but it's still room for error. <laughs> yeah, it's always room for error. So are you, I don't want to say scared, but like, do you, do you not like bombing? Of course, no one likes bombing, but it's like, like, <laughs> like, like some, like, like you say, like you're scared of not doing well. Like, are you scared that? Well, like, I'm, I'm. Uh, let's say you try something new in a set, and you can kind of see it's kind of. Go- do you just nah, go? Not, f- not that. Not yeah. that. Okay. It's, it's in the grand scheme of things. Yeah. I get nervous. Like, I'm not, like, say, me doing, th- I even go through this too, uh, imposter syndrome. Right? Oh, I have that. Yeah. So, uh, even though I feel I'm good, but then sometimes I'd be like, am I good? Or am I acting like good? Yeah. I, you know, I'd be like, oh, am I an actor acting like a good comic? Those are the, <laughs> those are the thoughts that go through my brain. Like, yeah. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Maybe, maybe I'm, maybe I'm pretending. You know, because I but I used to because I used to compare myself to someone who was always on. Okay. And I'm not an always on guy. Yeah. You know? But then luckily I was able to see different comics like especially Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy to me is an ultimate comedian. Yeah. Well, he, he doesn't hasn't done comedy before, but he was a, he's the ultimate funny person. He's so natural. Because yeah. he'll sit there and chill and just be funny. He's not acting like He's act, you know, when he's on film. Yeah, he's acting. He's being himself yeah. and still finding his funny moments. Yeah, yeah, but not always being on. Yeah, having like real conversation and then some funny will slide in there whenever it slides in there. But he's not pressed to be funny all the time. Right, right, and right. And that was that's a ner- that that's what I used to feel uncomfortable. Like even sometimes when I go to do, uh, what do you call this? Um, when I go to do the interviews, uh, not in- like yeah, auditions, in- uh, interviews, or even just. Things I just I you, you always feel like you gotta be funny. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you mean the, like not not com not shows, just like regular fucking interviews or yeah, yeah. just yeah. like if I go on a radio or uh, on a radio or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Terrestrial radio or mm. even sometimes even podcasts. It's just like they're looking for funny. You know, you you you're you're a comedian, so you're supposed to be funny. Yeah. You know, and it's just sometimes I'm just chilling or I mean not just chilling. I re- just want to have a conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And. I let the funny come out, but I'm I'm comfortable with doing that now. Before I used to feel like I always got to be on, you know. And honestly, I don't even like to be around people who are always on. No, it's because tiring. you can't have real conversation. Yeah. And to me, the fun is like so much forced funny that it's just obnoxious. Well, it feels like there's a wall, but then you you can't break in. Well, the you know? thing is, the thing is, like I just want you to be normal. Yeah. Like, like so we can have a real conversation. Yeah. If you're always performing. Uh, everything I say, you're trying to find something funny to it. Right, right. That's not fun. I don't want to talk to you like that. Yeah. Now I can't get real answers from you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everything is a, a joke. Right. Uh, that's not, you know, that's unsatisfying sometimes. Sometimes you want the truth. I mean, more, a lot of times you want the truth, and if it can be funny, cool. But if not, that's cool, too. Yeah, you yeah. Know? You don't have to worry about getting a laugh all the fucking time, you know? Uh, yeah, that's, that's what I had to be cool with, you know, okay. because... I can't imagine you being that kind of guy. Like just what? me seeing you at the strip, and like, because every time I see you, it's like we have just a regular conversation about what's going on. I can't imagine you being one of those guys. What being just being fucked, just 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 dancing all the time, like, oh, just yeah, trying to yeah. be on, like, like doing your jokes. Yeah, everything is every answer, every response is a joke. Yeah, or everything. <laughs> I can't like, oh. do it. I'll be so annoying. Yeah, that yeah, that's very annoying. Yeah, I can't. I don't even like. I don't like being around those people because. Yeah. I feel like you haven't been, you haven't made peace with yourself. Well, anyone that's like that, everyone's like that guy's the light of the en- or girl's the energy, the oh, room, the, the party. The I always think like that person goes home, they take off their. That's and cool at a party. Yeah. Or in that, but if we're talking. Yeah. I don't. I don't want that. I don't need that. Yeah. Or if I'm around my, like you come around, like you say you go around, you bring you bring your, you come around with your girl. Yeah. Then a comic, some comics who are kind of regular, they try to turn it even up, trying to be funny for you and your girl. You're yeah. Like, bro, she got a comedian already. Yeah, yeah, she, exactly. Yeah, yeah. We're not looking she's, for, yeah. for extra funny. She's already down this relationship. Yeah, we so good. Let's relax. You, know what I'm saying? Yeah. you don't have to try to be extra funny. Or have, so it's just like, that, that, to me, that's a maturity too, though. Yeah. You know, being cool with who you are. Yeah. You know? No, for sure. And like, um, just thinking who you are is fucking cool, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I don't know why I just. Yeah, you just did this a whole other way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, doing, I'm doing what the comics do. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you reset. I just said it in a more beautiful way. <laughs> 
All right, so let's wrap up here. I know you got um, you get a special recording coming up, right? Oh yes. Yeah. Yes. So why don't you plug my that? My first recording, my first album. Um, no, no, my second album. Okay. Actually, I got an album out called. Uh, you don't even remember the name. Oh, of Guilty album. Pleasure. Okay. I got an album out called now. It's called Guilty Pleasure. You yeah. Can, you can order it at KareemGreenComedy.com. Mm -hmm. Um, that's where you can find all my stuff. KareemGreenComedy.com. But you know, I'm on Instagram and and Facebook mainly talking. Uh, now I'm on Twitter, but I don't talk there. You yeah, know, I'll just post something, but I don't really talk. <laughs> yeah, you're a good follow. You, you you post funny shit, but you also post like the motivational stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's very and it's like that's I think, what I'm about. But it's stuff that you come up with, right? A lot of the stuff is just some of it is what I come up yeah. with, and some of it is things I find. I I can tell the ones because I mean the ones that you find obviously I kind of heard it before, but you have some that are really good, dude. Like even this conversation, like earlier in the conversation, we were talking about like just like um, not worrying and stuff, and like it's it's like the blame is is on you. Yeah, you know. Like that's that's like you should post that today if you can. I don't I don't know how you would rephrase it, but that was uh, fucking great. Yeah, but yeah, that's it. Still, go, it goes back to you know you versus you. Yeah, it's all like it's all you. Like you know when you want your relationship, when everything, when you want things to get better, you just get better. Watch it. Watch how things get better. Yeah, and like like you know what I'm saying. And and then also when you, to me, when you get to a certain point of understanding, and I and I feel like in spirituality, the things that you thought you wanted, you'll realize you didn't really want that you want it what the what came with it yeah. or something but yeah. not really the thing like you know yeah or something like some know people just like yeah. some people are doing comedy but they don't really like comedy they don't care for comedy as much they want the girls and the money and the fame yeah. yeah right uh i think we all want it to an extent but if you don't love it uh it, it shows in different ways also too it's like these things like i want to get there there like you're right it's about like i want to check that box a lot of times you get like, let's say you get the spots at the whatever club and you get in there, man, it's just another fucking comedy show. It's not like the crowds there are fucking so much different. You right. Know? It's a fucking crowd of people who laugh at, at jokes. Yeah. It's not that much different. I mean, yeah, it's cool to be in this environment. But other than that, it's it's I, I find a lot of times like I want something so bad. Like I want those spots. I want those mm -hmm. spots. And I get them. I'm like, yes, finally. And then I get to the show and the show is just like a regular fucking show. I'm kind of like, oh, this is yeah. what I was like. Losing sleepover, like getting yeah, the spot. You, Fuck, you man. You find out it's all regular. It's all yeah, regular. it's regular. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's it's. Well, I, for me, it's became like, what am I trying to do here? Yeah. Right. So, what do I need a thousand spots for if I'm not creating an album? If you're or, not using creating a, a creating an hour for materials. Yeah. Other than that, if I'm not, if I'm not create, if I if I don't have a goal, in the sense of a grand like yeah. the album, or a special. Or whatever it may be that pertains to why I'm doing this, mm -hmm. right? So I need I need a reason in the end for this for me to be doing this, right? Yeah. So other than that, I'm not just doing it just to do it. Like yeah. the people, that's the place to be. That's the hype. Yeah. So you people want to be in the cellar because it's the cellar. Yeah. They don't want because it's a place. It's a, cellar. To, it's a place where you develop material. Like that's your work. That's a gym. Like you but said. But they don't look at it like that. No, I they know, look at I it. Know, yeah. They I look at it just like that. I look at all the places like that. Some yeah. have more prestige than others. Yeah, yeah. But they all do the same thing. And that and like like obviously I want prestige, but like I, the reason why I want to be in some like some more clubs is like because I want to fucking do better shows so I can fucking know what my what fucking jokes work. I want to follow what? people that are good comics so I can get better. Like okay, you want to be around good comics, right? But you can be or around good comics all the time. Yeah. Like if, if you go to the places where the good comics are at, you'll be around them. Yeah. yeah. And you can see them. Um, yeah. But to me, uh, when you say, are you want to do good shows? This shit, like, the only shows to me that are kind of bad is when people are not listening. Or they're judging your comedy instead of just laughing at it. It's not, just, that's not even just, a comedy Instead show of just enjoying it. That's not a comedy well, show. Well, that, but that's what happens with some people. It's yes. a woke, like, you know, be like, you know, when someone's sitting there going, can I laugh at that? Oh, that's the worst audience. Yeah. Can I laugh at that? Are we supposed to be laughing? When you're questioning your laughter and your joke, when you're questioning the jokes and questioning, it, is that correct? Yeah. Everything that we do in a comedy show is under the guise and the context of comedy. Yeah. But it's, So if you come there and, and start questioning, is that, uh, is he allowed? Yes, he's allowed to do everything he does here yeah. or she does here in comedy. Because it's for comedy. For the, the goal is humor. It's a laugh. Yeah. Uh, when I, when I, cause the comics never did a joke and then people went and did 
the, you know, comic said something about killing and then somebody went to kill, yeah. or someone said made a joke about rape and then they went to uh, rape. No one does that. No, like you know what I'm saying. They're acting like comics are causing certain situations, and we're yeah. not at all. And you don't we're just discussing yeah. it. I feel oh. too. It's like when you do political stuff. It's like no one's fucking hearing a joke and changing their their views on anything. No, man. no one's yeah. no, it's, no it's one should know. It's just half, for entertainment. Half the times people leave the show. And you'd be like, what was your favorite joke? They don't even know what the fuck happened, dude. No, They're like insomnia. Don't. They're like, oh, oh. I just had a good time. Yeah. I like the third guy or the, third, the second yeah, guy yeah. or the, or the fourth name? girl or whatever. Yeah. Like, they, they, yeah, you don't even, they don't even remember the name. Um, but some of them just remember the offense or remember the things they didn't like. Right. Because that's just who they are, though. Those are, those are whack people. That's lame. You know, if yeah. I'm not talking about what you want to hear, uh, all of a sudden it's offensive or you don't like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And to me... It's all of it's all should be up for discussion. Yeah. Right. We don't understand none of this stuff or none of each other if we don't communicate. We don't discuss. So if you're not gonna discuss nothing, um, if you're not if you're not up for discussion, you shouldn't even be here. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's or, not or, fair too. You can't you can't just be like I say this, drop the mic, fuck you, you're dead, go yeah, away. Yeah, that's know? what happened. That's not good, I had somebody yeah. do that to me. They was just like they were like uh, uh I, I'm out, I'm out. So and I was like, that's the problem right there. Yeah, yeah. You leave. When you don't like something, instead of discussing what you don't like, yeah. and then that don't mean I'm gonna stop doing it or whatever. But at least I'll have an understanding, and I have a, a place where I can grow, or we can grow from there. Yeah. Right. But if you don't leave any room to grow, what are we doing here? Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? You just got mad at something. I don't even know fully know what you mad at. Yeah. Because you didn't tell me that. Yeah. Fucking idiots. Anyways, um, why don't you plug the special you're doing? Oh you're yes, yeah, yes, yeah. I got yeah. the special coming out. It's November. 10th. We're recording it November 10th at the Brooklyn Comedy Club. New York Comedy Festival, right? In the, it's in the New York, in New Comedy, York Festival. Comedy Festival. New York Comedy Festival. At Brooklyn Baby, Comedy doing Club. It. Yeah. Brooklyn Comedy Club. It's 308 <laughs> Bedford Avenue. We're doing an 8 and a 10 o'clock show. That's a fun room. It's a dive so, bar with a fucking... With a club in the back. back. Yeah, it's that's a, dope. That's a dope spot. It is yeah. dope. It looks beautiful. It's one of Brooklyn's own. It's cool. We're about yeah. to do it. Is it the, other, the name of it is called Old Man Hustle. That's the name of the place also. But it's that's Brooklyn Comedy name. Club. Yeah. So make sure y'all come down. The 8 and 10 o'clock show. It's a recording, some video, and some audio. And it's going to be dope. It's going to be monumental. It's going to be legendary. Damn. Yeah. Dude, if you, I'm telling you, man, do yourself a favor. Go see Cream. He's fucking hilarious. You're the one, one of the few, one, I can count on the top of my hands that, like, when you're going on, I sit uh -huh. down, I fucking get my popcorn <laughs> going. It's just fun to watch you, man. It's just Thank like, you. Even jokes I've heard before, it seems like you're just doing it off the top. Like, you you say real shit, you don't hold back, and you make everything funny. Um, guys, go see Cream. Go follow him on Instagram, too. Blow his fucking shit up. And, and thank um, you. And J James taught me about uh, Hinge. He put me on a Hinge. Was that me? <laughs> was that me? You the one who gave me my Hinge understanding because I'm terrible with the apps, right? Yeah, yeah. And you was like, bro, you can't. You can't just have shots like this. <laughs> oh, I remember <laughs> like, that. You can't have shots like this. You're I remember like, that. You're like weirdo. It's a creep. I was like, really? Yeah. Like, <laughs> oh, you had some bad. Yeah, like <laughs> someone with a purple hat on, like all, this. I'm like, hey, that's that's not gonna work, man. You gotta do. You gotta show you in shots with people. You gotta show your whole body. You gotta. I was like, I don't know. He's got motivational quotes yeah. on his profile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got. You know what I'm saying? So, oh shit, that make me feel. Trying to uplift him. Yeah. I'm about to get off now, though. I'm about to get off because yeah. I don't never get nothing done but waste time. I talk to women for a little bit, and I feel like the women don't. Women lack effort in their. Uh, to me, some women lack effort in a uh, building relationship, whatever, or they're just scary, right? And I just you know <laughs> they're scary. Yeah, people yeah. Are scary. You be like, I don't normally give my number out, or I don't, I didn't buy. Yeah. Bye. Why am I talking to you on it? Bye. Also, why are you on here? Like, yeah, I have you know? no time. You know what I'm saying? That's the same thing with people who come to comedy clubs yeah. who, who want to judge things. Like you don't understand this. Forum, or if you want to do it like that, go ahead and wait till you find someone who wants to waste time with you. Because yeah. I, I really just don't. That's my biggest pet peeve of wasting time. Yeah. People who yeah, waste your too. time. Yeah. All right, guys, go see the recording. Um, and um, wow, I didn't know I was a fucking a guru, a fucking love guru. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> I use some of it, but it, it turned into all nothing because I get off and I get off. I'm better off in person, so I'm about to delete the app anyway because I seen something else that said if you if you're on these apps. You uh, you you're not on purpose, right? So I need to be on purpose, and purpose yeah. means you know oh, the thing you do. Oh, dude, I whatever mean, you do. When doing. I was on them, I would I would spend a couple hours a day Just swiping. swiping, changing my shit. 
a couple hours a day. That's seven times seven. That's tw- That's a part time job. So yes, fuck that. Yeah. All right, guys, go follow the podcast page. I'm just kidding. Podcast gmail.com for um, if you want to be a guest and then also come bro. Instagram, Twitter, everything, and uh, we'll see you next week. Thanks for listening. Yeah, Korean Green, 21 Instagram. Go follow. Go watch the show. Peace.